What's going on? Um, the doctor is not out yet. He's not out yet? Yes. This is bad. I smell danger. <laughs> doctor. Your face is not bright at all. Um, Doctor, how, how is my father? Can I, can I see him? I'm sorry. We lost him. Eh? What? We tried all we could, but... I'm so sorry. See his body. That is not a problem. I will arrange with the nurse so that they just see his body for him to the mock. Oh God! Very sorry. So, Uncle, what next? Tibo must be informed immediately and this kept a return to the palace. Then I should be on my way to the palace. Go with your brother. With my brother? Why? Just do as I said. Uncle, I'm the first son of Onuowu Echezona. And I have the right to go and break the news of the demise to the king. So why should I go with my brother? Do not look down the walls of Anaida. The grey hair you see dotting all over my head is not there for fancy. It signifies wisdom. no more.
couldn't make it. Good morning, sir. I want to say the king is an urgent matter of life and death. All right. You wait while I inform the king about your presence. Onowu's son is here to see you. He said it's a matter of life and death. Matter of life and death? Yes, Your Highness. Tell him I will be with him shortly. All right, Your Highness. I hope Onowu is still alive. I hope Onowu survive the surgery. So your father, oh no, my friend, did not make it at last. Your Highness, that's why I'm here. Hello. Huh? Alive. Sit down, my son. So your father, oh no, my friend, did not make it at last. Your Highness, I'm here to announce the death of my father, the Ono of this kingdom, and to return this scepter. My son, it is the son that will bury the father, and not the other way around. I've heard you. Go home and put your father's house in order. I have received your message. Thank you, Your Highness. That's why I'm here. You have to accompany your brother to the palace and break the news of your father's death to him. He already did that. I just have to meet him later in the day at the family house. You mean Ebuna went to the palace after all my warnings to him? Is there anything wrong with him going alone? My friend, listen. When an elder speaks, children listen. You must not understand everything the first time. Ha, I have a wife and a son, remember? 
and that makes you more a child than you think. So I don't know. Uncle Theo came to the house earlier today. He said I should accompany you to the palace to tell the Igwe concerning our father's death. Why is Uncle Theo bent on this? Is there something you're not telling me? I don't know. I just don't know. But you've passed the message across, right? Of course I have. So did he say anything? I uh, did not say anything, only some words of encouragement. Okay. But what I want to know is why must Uncle Theo want you to follow me to the palace? <sighs> Honestly, that I can't tell. Maybe, but you've told the Igwe now. Oh, you know what? Don't let that bother you. We should just focus on the task ahead. It's okay. Since you've told the king, so maybe he thought you haven't. I don't know. There's something that he's not telling me. Yes, I think. There is something about this. After he told me about it, he still went to my brother's house to tell him the same. It's not something I will overlook. Uncle Theo is hiding something from us. You never told me you were coming. <sighs> Uncle, I came to know if there is any problem. Is there something you're hiding from me? And what could that be? Uncle, I'm talking about why must you insist that Ndodi must follow me to the palace? But we've already gone to the palace. Yes, yes. Is there any other issue? Yes. Ndudi said you came to his house to tell him to follow me to the palace. And I became curious. Uh, Is there something I should know? I'm on my way to your family compound. Visitors are coming to sympathize with us. So, you should be there to receive them. Uh, I'm welcome. Open that gate.
my good friend. Ebuna. Your Highness. Come and kneel down here. By the power bestowed upon me as the Igwe of this kingdom, I hereby hand over this keta to you as the owner of this kingdom for you to start from where your late father stopped. Message from God. Mm. I know. And the message is all about your destiny. Your uncle has a role to play in your destiny, and it's left for you to allow him to succeed in playing the role or stop him from playing the role that is the message of your dream for my uncle's action. He wants to hand over my birthright to my younger brother. Hey, Uncle Theo, is that how wicked you are? Don't worry. After the burial, you shall see my red color. I've been waiting here since morning, and your wife told me you were coming. Now that I'm here, 
Tell me why you want to see me. Because I'm in a haste. It's all right. <clears throat> it is barely one month your father, my brother, was buried. And I no longer receive my weekly allowances. Why? I gave orders to the management to remove your name from the pay list. You gave the orders? Yes, I did. Why? Because the company is my inheritance. I own the company now. I say and give orders on how things go there. So, I want you to put that in your brain. Do you have another thing to ask? sitting room for hours without any form of cola. When he finally walked down, he ordered me to say what brought me to his house without greeting me. Hey, when I didn't greet you, he said not to your brother, call him on phone and ask him. I can't believe this. He was not missing word when he told me to my face that he was the one that excluded my name from the company's playlist. Is he out of his mind? You asking me? Call him. Is he a brother? Because according to him, he is now the new boss. What kind of stupid new boss? Has he lost it? Um, Uncle, see, you don't have to worry yourself, okay? I will go to his house this evening and know the reason for all this nonsense. Don't worry. You don't have to worry. You are our responsibility and we should take care of you, okay? Look, Uzugo, I will meet him up this evening. Whatever it is, must be sorted out tonight. Okay? Oh? Uzugo, Uzugo, don't worry. Why would you do a thing like that? I owe you no explanation for my actions. And I owe nobody any explanation on how I run my company. Father's company, you mean? Father is not here. Do I need to remind you? Do I need to remind you that he was the one that set the roots in? He was so much in love with his brother. They shared a lot in common. Why would you stop the company from paying him money? You don't even know how it came. This is just the beginning for Uncle Theo. He should expect more from me. Hey, Buna, are you out of your mind or something? Hey, hey. wrong choice of word for your elder brother. Listen, I do not care, all right? What has that man done to you to deserve such wickedness from you? If you really care to know, then you're going to ask him. What is happening? Who is after my bad Hey, but tell me about the old days. What will he say that I did to him? Uncle, I don't eh? know. Honestly, I can't remember wronging him. How can I plan evil against my blood brother? Son, that is what I don't understand. You keep saying I should inquire from you. I just don't understand. This whole thing is surprising to me. I mean, it's shocking. Eh? But it's okay, okay? Don't think too much. You know it's not good for you. At least you, you have me, okay? I will personally make sure that your weekly allowances and your monthly salaries will not be skipped, okay? I'll send them to you. Hi. At last, blood is thicker than water. Thank you very much, Uzuko, my son. Uzuko. The only thing you do for me is stop thinking too much. 
Okay? I, I will know the meaning of this and I will sort it out. Oh, let's go in. Oh, just, just go in. Stop thinking too much. Everything will be fine. I asked Uncle Theo and he said he can't remember doing anything bad to Ibuna. I really don't know what is wrong with Ibuna. But I thought your father enlisted Uncle Theo in his burial. Of course. So? My father loved his brother like he loved himself. Both of them had this strong bond that existed between them. Enlisting him on his payroll was the best thing he did for him. My father bought him cars, built that house for him, and he advised us to do the same for him. Ibuna forgot about everything and is acting so abnormal. You know, there's something really confusing about your uncle. Why is the man not married? Not even kids? Well, that's my, my, my father couldn't uh, tell us that till he died. And you guys didn't bother to ask him either? Why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations. Why bring you to reality? I fight in the air, punching the wall, I'm getting up. Another dream? No. What is this? Same message. Oh. I, 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 I think Uncle Theo is up to something. And I have to stop him. I just, I just have to stop him. Good. Why is it that people who look so innocent are usually the most dangerous? Why? I can never allow him to have his ways. Never. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations. Why bring it to reality? I fight in the air, 
punching the wall and getting hot. Oh. Where is that evil man that calls himself my uncle? Where is he? Where is that evil man? Come out here! You! Ebu, what is it again? I know all your particle steps. To disinherit me and hand over my birthright to my brother. To my own younger brother. I know your plans. Ebu, you know nothing about what you are talking about. I know a lot. I know a lot! But let me tell you, you will not succeed. Before you succeed, I will have your head on a plate for my dinner. Meiji Siwen Gongo. You see you? You are an evil man. See this house you're living in? Was built with my late father's money. The car you're driving was bought with my late father's money. And all your properties. And you're planning evil for me. See, let me tell you, before you succeed, me me And do you know what? Go inside there, pack all your dirty belongings, and leave this compound. Because if I revisit this compound, what I will do to you, eh? Oh my God. Ebuda, listen to me. I am not going anywhere. Yes, I am not going anywhere. Ah. You heard me right. Ah. Listen, do your worst. Okay. Whatever will happen tomorrow, let it happen now. No, no, no. I should do my worst, right? Yes, do your worst. I should do my worst, right? Wait and see. Just wait for me. What's all this? Huh? No, 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 wait for me. I'm coming back. What I'll do to you, eh? Mm. If I do not use your head from Gongo, call me a bastard. bastard. Oh, okay, watch out. Just watch. Why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations. Why bring it to reality? Hey! Open that gate for him! Okay, sir! Don't allow this vehicle to visit here again! Okay, sir! Good afternoon. What? Now. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm I'm coming there. I'm coming there now. <laughs> what is wrong with Ibuna? Hi. The old days in my bed right. I'll be crushing, I'll be grown, for it is my right, as me and no one else, I will never let anybody to take away my right, I will die. Boss, yeah. we forced the gate open and threw him out with his luggages. His security man was on board immediately, so man. Good work. That's a very good work. Where is the new key? These are the key boss. Nice. This is beautiful.
What's the meaning of it? Is it when I'm mad? No, what's the meaning of this nonsense? I don't know. I don't know why Ebuna hate me so much. I don't know what I what I did to him. <laughs> what kind of wickedness? Ebuna hate me knows that I did nothing to him. Uncle, it's okay. Just it's okay. I know he will call. Hello, Buna. What was the meaning of this nonsense now? Ask that evil man with you there. Why is he so wicked to me? What have I done to him? What, 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 what do you mean, what, what, what he has done to you? Are you out of your mind? You have no right to chase him out of the house and will let further guilt for him. Not after what he told us before he died. What kind of stupid attitude is this? If you know what is good for you, come and open this gate now. Or I will break it or I will call the police for you. What is your problem? You can go ahead and report me to the police. I give no damn about it. And as for that evil man there, he will never sleep a night in that house anymore. Never. I should report you to the police. Ebuna, I should report you to the police. Do you know you're very mad? Do you know you're very mad? Rubbish. Don't me, baby, he hung the call on me. How we close me. How we close. And if I will love it, my love it. Leave Ebuna to keep his house. Please take me to my old house. No, I cannot do that. Not when I'm still alive. I cannot take you back to that touch house. Good to do. Okay, stop saying that to you. Back to Ebuna. No, no. Your late brother built this house for you. Ebuna has no right. You know what? Just, just stop crying, okay? Before I take any decision, I must see the Igwe. But for now, let's leave here. Please. No, okay. stop telling me, please. Let's leave here for now. Igwe. If you involve Igwe now, if you involve Igwe, a lot of things will come up, please. Leave what you're saying. I will know. I will know if Ebuna is mad. I can manage a voice contact. Please take oh, more yes. steps. Can you imagine? Huh? What, 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 what God has it to, to, to take, take you out of the house your brother built for you? I, why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations, why bring it to reality? I fight in the air, punching the wall and getting hurt. Oh. trying to understand is why your brother will throw out your uncle out of the same house built for him by your late father. Why? What right has he? Hebuna has lost it. Seriously. Yeah. I even wanted to send uncle back into the house, but he refused. No. 
I won't go back to that house. I'm no longer safe there. That boy is very mean. I wouldn't know his next move. But uncle, why is Ebuna particularly wicked and mean to you? Why? Exactly my thought. Like, it's hard to understand. I guess someone is feeding him with lies about me. But I'm sorry for him. He will end up creating more problems for himself. I like the way you're following him up. I like the way you're following it man to man. Now he's aware you know what he knows. You see, I keep asking myself. No, I mean, Uncle Theo and my father had a great bond. The love they had for themselves was much. And it extended to us. He used to love me and my brother the way he loved my late father. But I don't just know what went wrong. It's either he's changed or he has been a hypocrite, waiting for the right time to attack. Oh, you're right. The right time. My father's death was at the right time. Oh. I hope my father realizes his mistakes. Look at my wonderful daddy. Thank you. Son, you're welcome. Welcome. Father, yes, sir. As I was coming, I saw this. Two big catfish, bigger than this. Wow. You know, I remember it's your favorite, so I have to buy them. Wow. Okay? I'm going to call the chief chef to prepare it and serve you, mm -hmm. so you enjoy it alone. But you do me a favor. Call your uncle. Tell him to come over so that we can eat the pepper soup together. Father, actually, I bought those catfishes for you, just for you. I want them to prepare it and uh, serve you the ones they're going to serve you and reserve the other ones in the freezer. Whenever you want it, they'll warm it for you and you still have them. Son, do you have any problem with my brother eating those fishes with me? Father, you must not share everything good that comes your way with everybody. Sometimes you enjoy and... Be yourself and do your thing. Really? Yeah. If your intention is that I will not eat that fish with my brother, you better go home with it because I don't need it. Father, must, must you eat it with somebody? I, 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 I bought it specially for you. I say you can go home with it. I don't need it. It's okay. It's okay. Let me, let me call him. Where are these stewards? So they'll go and get it from my trunk. The hospital? Yes. Yes, Father. I want to see him right now. Oh, fa Father, you can't, you can't... Are you taking me to the hospital or you want me to drive myself? No, no, Father, it's late. There's it's no need for that. The doctor... Can right? I have the keys, please? I want to see my brother. It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take you. Okay. I'll, I'll take you there. Let's go right now. to rest since. At least I can rest now. Yes, better. Nothing will happen to you. Enugu. 
Mm. I am here now. You don't need to worry. Father, come on, let's go. It's late. Let's just go. Who is going to take care of him? The nurses and the doctor. I can't find any of them here. Father, if he needs them, he will call them. Can you hear yourself? Eh? So you want us to leave him here alone? No, I'm sleeping in this hospital. Dear Father, you shouldn't forget your position in this kingdom. As you know, war of this kingdom, how can you possibly sleep on the couch or sleep here? Eh? Oh no, it's a title. I'm a man with flesh and blood in my veins. Mm. I love my family. And family comes before title. No. Go home. I'll be fine. Huh? I can go. Oh. They will go home to their wives. And you will sleep here alone like somebody that has nobody. I'm not leaving this place until one of them volunteers to sleep with you. Only on that basis will I go home. Uh, Father, in that case, let me call my wife to drive to this place and I stay with him then. What's all this? What's all this? What's going on? What's all this now? Eh? Let's go home. Um, Ebuna, you know what? Just um, take him home, okay? I will stay here with Uncle. Mm-hmm. Now you're talking. Yes, yes. You know, my father... You know, my late father was busy making plans for... for his brother. And he made us to promise him never to allow him to suffer. Not knowing that the person he was planning good for was there planning how to scatter his family when he dies. I think your father should know better now. Are you going with my car key? Honey, I'm not using my car again until you fix the AC. Is your AC car faulty? Yes, I've been clamoring about it for the past two weeks now. Okay then, let me call the repairer so he would come and take you to the workshop. While I drive yours to the salon. Uh, babe, wait, wait. You cannot waste my whole day, okay? I have an appointment by 12 noon, please. Honey. Today is Saturday. Why not till you rest at home? Babe, I'm serious. Okay. I'll be back shortly. Come here. Have a nice day. Take care of yourself. Please do not waste my day. I won't.
How are you? Fine, that's enough. Okay, please, I want to um, stretch my hair a little bit. Okay. Yes, and I want you to stretch it more. You know the oil you used only the last time? Yes. Okay. That's exactly what All right. I want you to do. Treated very well. How is your madam? She's fine. She went out. Thank you. Don't make it too hot. Oh. No. Okay. So it's not from the back. talking to you think I am my husband and not aware of your steps how you your husband and uncle Tio are going around buying the entire Igwe cabinet just to take away my husband's bed right but you know what who God has blessed no man can curse you all have failed woefully go and tell your husband that whatever you all are planning will not work because whoever God has made king no man can take away his crown. Okay, enough of You know, I've always thought that you were mannerless, but obviously you are senseless and as useless as you've always been. How dare you walk into a calm and quiet, reputable salon as this and spit such trash from your mouth? How dare you? It is you, your mother and your entire generation that is senseless and stupid. And if you get me angry, I'll tear you into rack. my mother into this. Yes, I did. It's obvious you want the earth to swallow you and you're looking for an easy way to get out of it. But you know what? I will give you that chance because you're just too little. Come on, come on, let's leave this one. Come on, you don't have to. Who is your customer? This one. How much is she paying? You're just a talent. And I'm too responsible to have a fight with you. Hey! You are not the person I should be talking. Hey! Look at that Boro calling me doubt. I borrow like you for me responsible. Look at you. I borrow. Oh, that is what you are. I borrow. Beat me! Beat me! That is what you what you say you do. Beat me! Beat me up! You're not going anywhere. Come and beat me, oh co wife! Co wife, come and beat me, oh! Beat me, beat me! Beat me! You, you say you will kill me. Come and kill me. You're useless. You're useless. I'm gonna I'm gonna Come on, beat me up. Beat me up. Look at me. Look at 
I've exhausted my strength. I should bring water for you. I guess you're here for me to make your hair. Come. Is it me you're talking to? I am talking to you. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have done that. How can you barge into this place and all of a sudden you chased away my customer? Why? Come on, be quiet. Are you mad? I said, are you mad? Why are you to talk to me in that manner? Hey, Madam, look at this small girl. Do you respect? Eh? We have rules, we have guidelines, we have regulations guiding here. Guidelines kill you there! Rules kill you there! Come. Is your madam aware of this thing you're doing now? Is your boss aware of this thing you're doing now? Madam, we do respect. If my madam should get to know about this, I'm in trouble because we have rules. You cannot just badge it like that and, and, and you chase away my customer like that. You shouldn't have spoken to her the way you did. That was so rude. Keep quiet before I slap your mouth backward now. Keep quiet! Rubbish. Who even wants to stay in your useless salon? Nonsense. Yeah, not, just go. Come on, keep quiet. If I hear your voice again, eh? You see this 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 whole place that will gather for both of us. Look at leave. Leave. I'm not making the hair again. I say stop talking. Who even wants to stay? Rubbish. Uh -uh. Hey! Can you imagine? You barging into someone's shop and, and, and you are there shouting like a mad woman. Nah, 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 nah. Please, we don't need you. Let me even close this door. In every 60 years, I remember my father Okuro once told me, you were so little then, okay. that when I grew up, that you know who office will come to our family. Really? Yes. I never believed it until yesterday when he would call me. You know, the death of the present to know yes. has created a vacuum. So, it is our family that will now produce Ono and it will remain in our family for 60 years. Wow. Well, that is good. You are the first son. So, it is your right. Mm -hmm. 